Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are, I'm a part of the world. You're in. I hope that you're having a good day. So, in the Bible, it says to honor thy mother and father. But immediately after that, it also says, but, ch but parents do not provoke your children to anger. <laughs> okay? So, if we're constantly honoring our parents, yet they are traumatizing us, what is that doing to our psyche? And is that really what we're supposed to be doing? If again, it also says, but parents do not provoke your children to anger. So if your parents are not supposed to provoke you to anger, yet they are constantly provoking you to anger and traumatizing you over and over and over again for decades, what are you supposed to do? right? I have personally decided to distance myself. First, I distanced myself and I distanced myself for years. Then I decided, you know what? I'm in this healing space. I'm on this healing journey. I'm going no contact. So do you stay in the fire and keep getting burned? Do you distance yourself and limit the time that you spend? Or do you completely go no contact so that you can heal so that you're no longer triggered or traumatized by this person? So that even if you are around them, if you are triggered or traumatized, it doesn't affect you as much or you just completely go no contact and decide that this is how it's going to be. Let me know what you think. Love y'all. Later. Mwah.